Hi, I'm Stuart Fieser with Alt3 Research. Let's learn how to packetize voice. First, we begin with a simple recording. Press the record button and notice we have to choose the sampling rate. In telephony, 8,000 is the popular number. Everything is done in 8,000 samples per second. So we choose 8,000 as the default and click OK. Let's learn how to packetize voice. Now the purpose of this lesson, as I clean up this audio here, is to show you how to packetize it. Digitizing is something perhaps you already know, but just in case you don't, let's take a quick look. As we zoom in, you will soon be able to see the individual samples themselves, like this one right here. That particular sample is sample number 20,456. If we draw a line right down the middle, and we measure the distance from the middle up or down as the case may be, we can measure the instantaneous amplitude of that point. This is projected onto a scale where the scale is either going to be mu law, if it's North America and Japan, or a law, if it's anywhere else in the world. The difference is the measuring stick, but whatever the case, let's take a bunch of these samples. In fact, I'm going to take 160 of them exactly. Now I'm watching this number right here on the screen and I notice that I have 160 samples right here in front of us. That means that from the edge to the edge is exactly 160. Now we're sampling at 8,000 samples per second. If we do a little bit of math, 160 eight thousandths is also 1 50th. So we could say that there's going to be 50 of these packets per second if we capture this many samples, 160 samples in a packet. We could also say that this is 21 thousandths of a second or 20 milliseconds. This is actually the more common way to do it. So we could say that this amount of samples, 160 of them, is a 20 millisecond packet. If we zoom out and we let you see that little sliver of sound that you see right there, that little sliver right there is 20 milliseconds of voice. Now let's say, uh, for instance, uh, according to some QoS rules, where people would say that, hey, there's a likelihood that this might get dropped. So while we're at it, let's just take a quick look at that. I'm going to hit the delete key and delete that little sliver of sound. There it goes. Let me play this back for you. Let's, Let's learn, learn how to pack a guy voice. voice. Notice that we don't really miss that particular 20 milliseconds of sound very much. Well, if, if you look at the actual sound itself, the picture sort of illustrates why. I'll, I'll put that back for you. There's the sliver that we just deleted. And, and you notice that what is to the left and, and what is to the right appears to be very similar. If we do a frequency analysis and I just click around on different items, notice the frequencies really don't change all that much, which is really what your ears hear. So we, we didn't really miss that particular sliver of sound that much. Now, of course, the object, uh, back to packetizing voice, once we've captured 160 samples, the object is to get them as fast as possible to the other side. So what we will do is we'll take our 160 milliseconds of sound, timestamp it with whichever the timestamp value is, put a sequence number on it, maybe this is packet number 900 or something like that, and ship it on its way to the other end, where the sequence number and the timestamp are elements that you would find in the RTP header. That's it for this lesson. See you next time.